In this video, I'm going to show you three different A tools that you can use to generate AI images for free, and they're all pretty damn good. I'm not going to try to claim that any of these tools are going to generate images is better than mid-journeys, in my opinion. Mid-journey is still the fast. However, in order to really get the most out of mid-journey, you have to pay for the upgrade otherwise. You can only generate about 25 images. These tools you're not going to have to pay for, and you're going to get pretty damn close to that quality. Let's dive into my three favorite AI image generator tools. You may already be familiar with Lexica. It's a great site for getting inspiration for prompts for images. You can see all sorts of images that have been generated here. And if you click on an image, it will tell you what the prompt was. Lexica actually has its own prompt generator. And you can click generate and make prompts of your own. Lexica isn't entirely free, but they do let you have 100 generations per month for free. Now, let's start by generating some images here in Lexica. We are going to use two example images, one of a bird and the other of a young queen with long wine-colored braided hair. The bird image is just gorgeous, and I want to borrow this prompt and plug it into these various tools. Let's see what we've got under advanced settings. We can mess with the guidance scale, which in this case is less contrast or more contrast. We'll keep everything as default and see how it comes out. So let's test our first prompt here for symmetry, product, render, poster, vivid colors, fine proportion, eagle, ice, and snow, glowing frog, intricate, elegant, highly detailed digital painting or station concept art, smooth, sharp, focus illustration. Check out this image. It came out awesome. Now let's test our second prompt for a portrait of a young queen with long wine colored braided hair, royal guard, purple outfit, elegant, highly detailed digital painting or station concept art, smooth illustration overseas, or by Elena Nicolina. Once again, very similar to that original prompt that we were looking at. That was lexica.art. Their model is called Aperture. And once again, that's built on stable diffusion. If you're not generating more than 100 images in a month, you can use this site. If you want to pay to upgrade and generate a lot more images, you can. It's actually less expensive than Midjourney. Now, let's talk about dreamlike.art. Dreamlike is another website that has trained its own model based on stable fusions. And I believe they actually have some different models that you can play with as well. Dreamlike is free forever. They have a credit system where you can generate some images and it'll use your credits. When you step away from this site for a while, your credits regenerate. So you can actually go in just to generate tons of images without paying. You'd have to buy additional credits, but if you're just generating a handful of images at a time, you can jump in here, generate a few images, and get what you need. Then, the next time you jump back into this tool, your credits should be refreshed and you're good to go again. Theoretically, you can generate tons of images every single month. Now here is the best part. You can choose which section you want to generate your images. But the best section is Dreamlike Diffusion 1.0. So I'm going to select the first one. One of the unique features of Dreamlike.art is the prompt selection. You can choose how many images you want to generate and how many steps to take. The fewer steps you take, the fewer steps you take, the quicker the process will be, but the image quality may not be as good. You can also change the sampler to see how it affects the outcome. You can even upload your own image and use it to generate an image to image transformation. Dreamlike.art also offers various aspect ratios for you to choose from. You can select a specific scene or just let it run on default settings. So I'm going to leave the setting in the default settings. So let's run that same prompt here, the symmetry with the eagle and etc., and see what comes out of it. So check these out. These are completely different styles than what we got out of Lexica. I don't know what is it. Okay, 
let's try our second prompt and see what comes out. So our second prompt works perfectly. I don't know what happens to our first prompt anyway. Let's move on to our third image generator tool. That is instant.art. Instant art, a powerful image generator tool that I think is seriously underrated. I haven't seen anyone else talk about it yet, but it's free to use and has some amazing features. At first, insert.art looks a lot like Lexica, but the images don't look very good, and I wasn't very impressed with what I was seeing. However, this tool is super powerful, and as far as I can tell, there's absolutely no charge at all. I clicked around through all of these pages, and I can't find anywhere where there is any sort of charge. What I really like about insert.art is that instant art is different. It's super powerful and has a ton of models built in, as you can see, mid-journey version for waifu diffusion. It's like a anime style art 222, so many different models that are trained in this. There are a bunch of options for dimensions, and you have stock, which uses analog diffusion, which I don't know what that does either, but we'll test it in a minute here. But how cool is this to have a completely free, stable fusion art generators with all these models built into it? So let's go pesty our first proms and see what comes out. And here's what's came up with actually the image max count set was two. So two images are comes out. It's different, but that's pretty cool. I was created some images before recording the video. Believe me, this website is really good. Okay, let's try our second prompt. So I'm just pasting our second prompt and see what comes out. So these are the mid-jury before version images. And just for reference, here's what mid-journey actually generated. So not exactly what you get out of in mid-journey, but pretty damn close to this file, honestly. As you can see, I have shown you images generated from three different websites, which were quite similar in the mid-journey. And the special thing about all of them is that they are all unique, and the process of generating these images is different for each one. So this was our first image, which was a bird image. As you can see, we used one similar prompt to generate these images from three different A websites, and the prompt was symmetry. Hmm. Product render, poster, vivid colors, divine proportion, eagle, ice, and snow, glowing fog, intricate, elegant, highly detailed, digital painting, art station, concept art, smooth, sharp focus, illustration. And this is the second image, which was again generated by using the same prompt and running it on three different AI websites to produce all these images. And the prompt was portrait of a young queen with long Marcella color braided hair, royal guard purple clothing, elegant, highly detailed digital painting, art station, concept art, smooth illustration, art by Helena Nicolina. After looking at all the images, I feel that Lexica has the best quality. However, the other two are not bad either. It's just my personal opinion. So please do let us know in the comments section which image generator tool you like the most. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell button for the latest updates. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.